Okay, guys. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. And just welcome if you're new. Um, in this video, I am trying out the opposite OC challenge, um, which is a challenge that I assume is popular. Um, I don't actually know. But I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Sam Desarts, um, do it, and I was like, that's a cool art challenge. So now I'm trying it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the actual drawing part. Okay, guys, um, so the opposite OC, OC challenge is their eyes are the color of your least favorite food, and my least favorite food is mushrooms, and their skin color, sorry, never mind, their eyes are the color of your least favorite color, which is, honestly, I don't dislike any colors, like, I kind of like all colors, um, but probably my least favorite would be, like, a bright yellow. Um, so her eyes are bright yellow. Um, the skin color is the color of your least favorite food, mushrooms. Um, and if it's day, you make it nighttime. And if it's nighttime, you make it daytime. So um, it was day when I was drawing it, so I made it nighttime. And then they live in the opposite climate that you prefer. And I would definitely prefer, like, summer beaches and stuff. So that means the OC lives in the cold, um, Arctic, I don't know, the winter. Um, and then they have long hair if you have short hair, and short hair if you have long hair. So I have short hair, um, so they have long hair, and since they have long hair, I decided to just make it a girl because making a guy with long hair would just, I feel like, be a little bit too complicated, um, and it might just end up looking like a girl. Um, so I just decided to do a girl, and... Yeah, that is the challenge, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and while I'm drawing, uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, right now, I am kind of pretty excited because if you guys don't know, now you know, I do jiu-jitsu. Um, and I'm not good, uh, like I'm a white belt. So if you guys don't know, the jiu-jitsu works in like belts, so white belt is the bottom. Um, and right now I'm like a newbie newbie white belt, a white belt with zero stripes. So you go white belt, and then you get three stripes, and then after that you get a blue belt. So I'm white belt with zero stripes, but our professor at the gym we, we practice at said that me and my dad and my brother, which are the people who do jiu-jitsu in our family, are going to get our first stripe um, sometime this week. So I'm super excited for that, because then I can finally not be <laughs> the newbie. Um... I can actually pretend like I'm good, you know? Um, so that's exciting. Also, I have been homeschooled my entire life, and I decided that I want to go to Redwood, which is a local high school. Um, I want to go to, like, public school, like, regular school, I guess, instead of being homeschooled. Because um, previously, I've been homeschooled through a charter school, um, and so now I decided that I want to go to uh, public school and not be homeschooled to a school anymore. Um, and it's not a totally different school because I have, like, my cousin who's going there. He lives, like, actually really close to us. Um, so that's going to be nice because I'll have friends. I also know a lot of people who go to Redwood, so I won't be totally friendless, I guess. Um, and why I switched from homeschooling to public schooling was because I want to do swim, because I've shared in one of my previous videos that I like, I do swim. Um, and I'm pretty good at it, I think. Well, like, compared to the people on my old swim team, I was, like, one of the best. Um, and they don't have any swim team at my old school. So I decided that if I'm going into high school, I want to get, like, a swim scholarship. That would be super nice, because then you just have to pay less money for college. Um... So I'm going to go to Redwood so that I can get, so that I can do swim and possibly get a scholarship. Um, if I don't get a scholarship, you know, at least I'll be able to swim year round. Cause like right now I just do a, um, like a summertime swim team, but it's not year round. So like it's just during the summer. But I really love swimming and this I lo really love swim team. So 
I'm going to do, my plan is to do the swim in the summer with the Buccaneers. Um, and then water polo in like right after that. And then swim after water polo again. So like school swim after water polo. Um, because although I don't really enjoy playing water polo, um, it's really good for swim conditioning. Like although it kind of destroys your technique, um, it builds the like or the right muscles that you use to swim because it's a sport where you swim the entire game. Um, so it's good to like build your swim muscles, I guess, and just make you have more endurance. Um, because high school swim they do one hundreds, so one hundred yards. Each yard is three feet, so that's like three hundred feet. They swim 300 feet um, for each race. And I'm used to doing 50 yards, which is only 150 feet. So it's twice as much as I'm used to. So I'm really need going to need some conditioning and some endurance training because if not, swimming is going to be a lot harder um, because I won't be as able also I wouldn't won't have been swimming and for like a whole season so I'll be like super rusty so that's why I'm doing water polo um and let's see what's what else is going on in my life um hmm oh um my, I go to a church called the Church of the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and um, they have this program where when you go into high school, every day before school, you go to this thing called seminary, which is basically um, a church school. It's just an hour long. You go like at seven o'clock, it's an hour, and then you go straight from there, then you just go to school. Um, just to start your day with, you know, spiritual thoughts, I guess. Um, so I am excited because I just, I'm just starting, I'm getting to, now I get to go to that because now I'm going into high school. Um, and I got, they kind of, they assign you which, which seminary class you're in. And I got a teacher that I like, so I'm, super excited about that and sadly I did not get in the same class as my cousin but um, there are some people in my class that I know so that's gonna be fun there might be like a small gap in my videos okay I might not be able to produce one video every week um, during the school semester because um, I, although I was doing that before, I was homeschooled, so I had a lot more free time. And I'm going to a public school, or like a regular school, I guess. It's going to be a lot different, um, a lot harder, because I will be going to school every single day. Before, I only went to school two days of the week. Now I'm going to be going four days of the week. So I'm going to have a lot less time, plus I'm going to have more homework. So I don't know if I'll be able to make a video every week. So I apologize if some weeks um, I don't, I'm not able to post a video. Um, yeah, so apology ahead of time. And I don't know about you guys, but like going back to the art, like moons, why are they so hard to draw? Why is it so hard to draw the moon? I literally spent super long time trying to draw the moon in this picture because it was supposed to be nighttime so I wanted to do like the moon but it took me forever to do the moon I literally had to get a reference picture and this happens every time I draw the moon so maybe I should just not draw the moon but usually I just um, do a white circle put black dots on it and then get the smudge tool and be like and just blur it a bunch um because then it looks better. <laughs> um, but this time I was like, okay, I want to actually spend time and like make this picture look good. Um, 
So I decided to not blur the background um, and actually spend time on the moon. So here it is, the moon that I spent 30 minutes drawing. That's probably like a fourth of my entire art time was just drawing the moon. And I contemplated doing like the aurora and lights, if that's what they're called. Um, those light thingies in the sky in the Arctic or Alaska or wherever they are. Um, just pretend like I'm smart. Whatever those are called, I contemplating putting those in the picture. And I was like, that's probably not going to turn out how I want. That's probably going to be really hard. Um, so I decided not to do that um, and to just do a plain night sky. And then um, I decided to do like snow in front of her just for to make it more dramatic, I guess. Um, to make, and to sell the winter vibe, I guess. And although there's no snow like on her clothes, like just pretend there is, okay? It's... Pretend it just started snowing, okay? And there's just not snow on her clothes yet. Um, but yeah, that is the finished picture about. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, every view helps me a bunch. Um, and yeah. Thank you also for listening to me drone on and changing topics every five seconds. And peace out.